So now let me explain about in out. We are talking about in out. What is the use? So it accept runtime input value first point and we can change we can change its value within procedure within procedure you can change its value ok now <coughs> so let me consider one example I am considering a procedure I want to write a procedure which is taking customer ID which is taking customer ID and or otherwise customer account number anything customer account number and it is taking some amount what is the responsibility of procedure is it has to take account number and amount and the procedure has to update the old balance by adding the amount the procedure has to update the old balance by adding the given amount so then you have a new balance in your account that new balance amount I want to return to program again I am repeating one input argument why because account number is in type argument and account number cannot be changed next one in out type argument amount it is taking and updated amount it is giving to you so for that I am writing a procedure listen <coughs> so here procedure what is the input to the procedure input is customer account number what is the output value you are expecting yeah input is account number and some amount also updated balance amount I am expecting ok for this let me write the procedure first create the procedure create or replace procedure the procedure name procedure underscore deposit you are depositing some amount ok and for deposit operation it is taking your account number v account number this is in type argument so customer account details dot account number percent type this is the declaration of in type argument and it is taking amount v amount it is in out type argument it will take the amount once updated updated amount will be returned ok so customer account details dot account balance percent type is so first it it is taking account number and amount so for the in this account number it has to update the amount yeah begin okay first it is making update operation update customer account details set account balance is equal to the old account balance account balance plus given amount v a m t for whom you are updating where account number is equal to given account number v account number in this account number the old balance is assigned with old balance plus new amount update operation is over 
you have deposited 10,000. Old balance is 90,000. 90,000 plus 10,000, 1 lakh. Now your account balance is assigned with 1 lakh. So that 1 lakh we can see in your pay slip in your ATM. So 1 lakh should be returned to the customer again. Yeah, see here. <coughs> so select, finally I am selecting updated balance. Account balance that should be saved into amount variable AMT. What is the new amount? V AMT. And from which table you are selecting? Customer account details. From which account you are selecting? Where account number is equal to given account number. V account number. Finish. Okay. Now, finish your procedure. End of your procedure. Procedure underscore deposit. This was finished. Now, let me write a program here. I am calling the procedure through program. How should I call the procedure? Declare you need to submit account number that is V account number same customer account details dot account number percent type next you are getting updated balance V balance that is customer account details dot account balance percent type and begin at runtime I want to submit account number so C V account number is equal to percent of V account number it will take runtime input value from you at runtime whenever you are executing the program it will prompt you for enter account number then account number is saved into this variable that value I want to pass to so and so here enter amount also here enter V amount V A M T let me declare it directly not like this V amount just like a number ok now see <coughs> you need to deposit some amount how much amount you are depositing you have to enter that value also V amount is equal to percent of V amount ok yeah now write the procedure calling statement so procedure deposit it is taking account number ok v account number comma it is taking amount v amt same variable names I have used but both are different these variables are valid for this procedure these variables are valid in this program yeah finish and now dbms underscore output dot put underscore line <coughs> account number some space v account number and next updated balance is v a m t i will tell you how it is going to be executed and now listen carefully whenever you are compiling the program compile and execute the program immediately it will display or it will prompt you for account number here I am giving the account number is 
2001003520 this is my account number and immediately it will prompt you for enter a value for amount i am entering 15000 something like 800 15,800. 15,800 is saved into V account number saved into this one, and 15,000 is saved into amount. Okay, so these two values you are sending to procedure. This is the procedure calling statement. So whenever you are procedure calling statement, these two values are sending to procedure. Remember. these values are sent to procedure so you are sending values to procedure okay the first value saved into account number second value saved into v amount means these values you are getting here these values you are getting to here and this value you are saving into this next it will update your balance balance updated okay 15800 is added to your original balance next you are selecting the final account balance and saved into vemt what is the current value of vemt 15800 so let us assume already 10000 is there so old balance 10000 plus 15800 25800 is the new value so here you are having 25800 is the new value that new value saved into vemt vemt is taking input and you are changing its value before closing the procedure the value will be returned to here again the value is returning to here returning to program remember that what is the value you are getting 25800 that value you are getting from procedure into this so from procedure you are getting the value 25800 and finally you are displaying account number and updated balance so this is what about in type out type and in out type argument okay so please look at the program and procedure then you can understand it very easily in out type argument it is taking input and finally it is generating output in the middle of the procedure you are changing its value v amount value initially it is 15800 input now output it is returning is 25800 means its value was changed you can change in out type argument value so that's all about in type out type and in out argument arguments